guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a video showing you guys how i curl and flexi rod my hair i love doing this especially when i'm rocking a straight hairstyle because sometimes straight hair doesn't really uh hold a strong curl but i find that curling the hair as well as doing flexi rods really give you that bouncy um strong curl so to begin, I'm going to go ahead and split my wig into two sections. And I love curling my hair on a wig head because I don't have the time to be standing in front of a mirror for like two hours curling my hair. So I'm going to split this in two. And then I'm going to get some of that sleek and shine and just coat the hair kind of sort of as a heat protectant. And then I'm going to begin curling the hair. Now, you know, I... It took me time to learn how to properly curl hair with a curling iron because it could be a little bit tricky, um, but I'm going to try to explain it. If I'm not the best at explaining it, I would say just slow the video down a little bit and just watch what I do because for me, I'm a visual learner and watching works best for me, um, but I know sometimes hearing it will make it better to comprehend but what I do is just um I'll actually show I'll explain it in the next clip when I'm curling the hair but I usually keep the curling iron on the hair for a good like 15 seconds I wait till the top of the hair gets hot um and I really try to keep it on there for a while because this is straight hair and I really want the the curl to hold so next, I'm just going to grab a flexi rod. I don't know what inch this is, but um, I would have that detail in the description box for sure. And then I'm going to take some of that mousse and just wrap that around the ends of the curl. And then I'm going to just fold the flexi rod inward. So back to the curling method. So the top part of the curling iron where you see my thumb at, um, I'm going to grab the hair from the top. So that piece should always be at the top especially if you want your curls to be outward and not inward. So I always start at the top and I just grab, I grab hair and I, I'm trying to explain this the best way I can, y'all. I grab the hair and I kind of just like clamp on the hair a little bit. And then once I get to a certain amount of hair I just wrap it around and I keep doing that like it's it's a very natural thing like once you got it you know when you're doing it right or wrong like I'm really not the best at explaining something like this but I would recommend just watching <laughs> and if you need to slow the video down a little bit slow the video down a little bit but I'm just going to continue doing that for the rest of the hair, just clamping the hair, uh, curling it, and then wrapping it with uh, a flexi rod. And now I'm just showing you guys in a slower speed just how I wrap the hair around it. I don't twist the hair. I literally just follow the curl pattern and then I wrap it outwardly on the, on the flexi rod. I don't, I don't disturb the curl pattern basically is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to do that to the rest of my hair and I will come back and check in with you guys when all the flexi rods are placed on the hair.
lastly, I'm just going to spray the flexi rods with um, hairspray. And then I left it overnight. And this is the next day. I usually like to keep this um, flexi rod situation in for at least uh, a night to just let it sit and let the curls marinate a little bit. So uh, it is the next day and I'm going to unravel the flexi rods. And I don't do anything crazy. I just unravel them first before I go in and start, you know, combing them out. So now that all the flexi rods are removed, I'm going to take a wide tooth comb. I didn't put anything on the hair yet. And I'm just going to lightly brush out the curls. You don't want this look to be, you don't want the curls to be very tight with this look. Like you want them to look very bouncy. These remind me of like silk press curls. Like, I don't know. These just gave me a very like, you just got a silk press, sis. Okay. <laughs> like your hair looks good good and I want to also note that I did these curls on a freshly washed wig and I that's my favorite time to do curls is when my hair is uh, washed deep conditioned they just come out so nice so I'm going to go back in with that sleek and shine and I'm going to add that to the curls give them an, a nice shine give them a luster you know just just bring the bring the curls to life a little bit so next, I applied my wig off camera, and I'm going to go back in with the sleek and shine again. I guess I didn't feel like it was luster, uh, enough luster on the hair, but uh, I'm going to go back in with uh, some more of that and just brush that throughout the hair. And I really don't have to do much because the curls look really, really good. Like, you don't want to play with them too much, but I just wanted to style my hair a little bit. I really wasn't sure if I was going to go for like a middle part or a side part. Like, I wasn't sure at the moment. But I'm going to go back in with that wide tooth comb and just kind of brush those out a little bit. Um, the more I brushed them out, the more the curls kind of got more unison. So I went ahead and did a side part. And now I'm just going to be styling that, kind of seeing where I want my part to be. Um, and going in with some hairspray and just laying that part down. Now this is a 13 by 4 frontal, so on the sides they didn't have really good parting space. So this style will look really, really good with a 13 by 6 um, frontal because you can really like deepen that, that part. So just a little tad bit for that. Going in with my curling iron to just bump the front and that's pretty much it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy. If y'all want to see more hair videos, be sure to leave me comments down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.